Hi, this video is to help you review for the test on two-dimensional arrays. Uh, I say on two-dimensional arrays, it's mostly about two-dimensional arrays. There will be some questions about chapter six, right? And, and chapter six is mostly review. It's just about fields and variables. And so um, things that we've covered previously, but make sure that all the little highlighted blocks in chapter six, the ones that have the little vertical bars next to them. Make sure that you understand those because there will be a question or two, short question about those, but the bulk of the test will be on two-dimensional arrays. Um, and you're gonna have to write methods. I will specify what the method is, but you're not gonna write, have to write an entire class, just methods. Um, and I will give you the method header and you have to write the code that goes within the method header. So what are the types of things that you'll need to do? Well. Let's take a look at what I've got here. I've got a, a two-dimensional table declared here uh, with six rows and seven columns. And I've populated it with some values. And let's, for argument's sake, say that these represent test scores. And each row is a student. So this is student zero, this is student one, etc. This is test, um, and the columns um, are, are tests. So this is test zero. Those are the scores for test zero. These are the scores for test one, etc. All right. So rows are students. Rows represent students and columns represent tests. Now it's perfectly legitimate to, right, to, to view to conceive two-dimensional arrays, a table like this, right? Um, as long as you understand that what it really, what we're really dealing with is an array of arrays, right? So each of what here I call is, I'm calling a row is in fact an, a separate array, which is referenced, notice the arrow, from another, from sort of what I call, sometimes call the enclosing array, right? So um, that's, that's what's really sort of under the hood a bit. Um, and, and you need to understand that for things like swapping, right? Because as you should know by now, to swap, say, this row with this row, what you're really doing is just swapping this reference with this reference, right? You need a temporary variable to hold the reference. Um, but it, it's really an easy process if you understand that what's in the <clears throat> a two-dimensional array is really just an array of arrays. Okay? So um, the type of thing that you'll need to do. Let's say I wanted the average of a particular student, right? So um, students, I'll just write an S here, for, are in rows and tests are in the columns. We'll do T up here. Right, so each column is a test, each row is a student. So say I want the average of a particular student's tests. Well, I, what I, in that case, what I would want to do is hold the row constant, right? I want to say of, te, of say student zero. I'd want to hold r equal to zero, and then use a loop, a for loop, to go across through the columns, right? And then doing the math to to calculate an average, right? Summing up the scores and dividing by the number of scores. But if alternatively, I wanted to get the average for a test. So say I wanted to get the average for the uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 test, right? So in that case, I would want to hold the column constant and move the rows down and move down through the rows. Right, and summing up 
those values. So you have to be able to do both of these. You have to be able to um, work with a column or more multiple columns, right? Or to be able to work with a row and multiple rows. And you do that with how you write your loops, right? So um, you should be pretty comfortable with that by now. But um, if not, definitely, you know, use this as an example. Um, you could create this array really quickly, this, this table really quickly, um, and then practice to make sure that you write some code that, so that you can, you know, you can have a method that will provide an average for a test where you supply as a parameter the test number, which would be the column here of the test, All right? So that's the type of thing that you're going to need to do. Um, remember, all, almost always, with if you're dealing with an entire table, you're going to need the nested loop structure. One, uh, the outer loop will, depending upon what you're doing, will move you through the rows, and then the inner loop will move you through the columns. Or you could be do it, do it the other way, right? The outer loop could move you through the columns, and uh, the inner loop could move you through the rows. Totally, it depends on what the problem is, but you need to be able to to um, to to work to understand how those nested loops allow you to process the data in the two-dimensional array. Okay, um, definitely use for your loop variables R and C, right? Uh, it help it will help you understand. Um, it provides a hint to you as you're writing your solution. You don't, have to, you don't need to do row and call or row and column. Just R and C is enough of a hint to, to uh, provide you with just the, you know, okay, am I dealing with a row or a column here? And you know by your variable which, which it is that you're trying to manipulate. All right, I think that's all I want to say about this. Um, you obviously need to know how to declare these, how to fill them, but you should that should be easy for you after doing the times table. Um, okay, cool. Uh, that's it. Thanks.